We know that she bought three roses and two daisies for $31.88. So if I take three and I multiply it by the cost of one rose, and I take two and I multiply it by the cost of one daisy and I add those together, I have to get $31.88, right? If I take the cost of one rose and I multiply it by three, I get the cost of three roses. And if I take the cost of one daisy and I multiply it by two, I get the cost of two daisies. And then when I add those two costs up, I get the total amount I spent. Then she went back later and bought two roses and one daisy for $18.92. Same idea, right? If I take the cost of one rose and multiply it by two and add to it the cost of a single daisy, I'm now going to get $18.92. And that is simply the system of equations that represents or that models this situation, right? Done. Now, some students will write this down and they'll immediately start solving it because they're just like in this autopilot mode, which I totally understand. But the solution's now gonna come here. So let's take a look. Use your system of equations to algebraically determine both the cost of one rose and the cost of one daisy. 